Hey guys, this is Mehak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video tutorial series on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll discuss how we move the warnings due to axial load or axial movement in plain beams. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I'll just share my screen right now. As you can see, we have a building which is fully loaded and designed. As you can see, there is some warnings which are showing in all the plane beams. So we first know the reason of it. Actually, this is a common warning which shows in most of the cases. We'll just right click on it, check member static. You can also do design member static. So here we can find that it is failing due to axial force and minor axis moment. So if we just go to the results view and then we'll just try to find out the axial force due to any particular load combination. Let's do it. So as you can see, this is the axial force which has been generated. It is highest at the bottom level. So this axial force create a kind of push and pull force in this particular building. And since there is no, as you can see, if we can just go back to the structure view and we can just go back to the structure view and we can, if we can just switch on the dead imposed load as you can see here so since we don't have any uh, particular slab here and there is no imposed load applied so the moment is unable to balance it but in uh, site actually we can apply we do apply some pcc after the sand filling inside the periphery wall so we can just do some things in the software to balance it so in today's video we'll show you a method in which either your plane beams will pass or fail no warnings will show. We can remove the warnings of the axial force by balancing with some moment applied. So let's do it. Let's go to the base which we have. This is our base. So now just uh, let us go to the model and we'll just select some, uh, let's say steel deck. So we've selected uh, some steel deck and we're providing it, the steel decks to the entire structure. And we can provide, uh, let's say dead load of uh, we're loading and we'll provide a level load in the dead load section of 5 km per meter square. So we have provided it. As you can see here, we'll go to the dead load. We have provided this particular dead load. As you can see, this on the entire level we have provided. So the purpose is to create some movement so that it balances the particular axial force generated. So we we'll go to design and then design all static. So let's find out whether uh, the warnings have been removed or not. So after the design, as you can see, now we don't have any warnings. So the beams are either passing or they fail. So we can just uh, click on it. We can just change the properties of the member and then we can make the beams pass. So friends, in today's video, we had shown you a process to remove the warnings of axial load and axial force in Tecla Structural Designer software. I hope you guys found this video useful if you are if we are also having this kind of trouble. So keep watching our videos and also if you want to get trained from us, we can you can just contact a number given below or you can register using the Google form links and keep commenting and keep watching. Bye bye.